picks on your right, I have something left. My name is Jonathan Smith and basically I work for myself as self-employed and I basically transport musicians from venue to venue. Pretty much a to mini tour bus service. I've been driving bands for about the last four years. I've just turned 22 so when it was when I was 17 I was already driving bands. Basically all it was was I, I passed my driving test pretty pretty quickly. And there was a van for sale in my road, and it was a six-seater van, and it had space in the back, which I could put equipment. So I was doing DJing at the time. I thought, like, you know, it was like a van to put my equipment in. Don't zoom in on the rust. Bloody hell. Look, new mark. Good, good company. BRMB, who we've worked with, and we worked with, we worked with Elvis Presley last week as well, yeah. Got Bobby Williams this week. And that's about it. And yeah, I started doing discos and stuff, but then local bands started asking me to drive them. And, uh, and then another Wolverhampton band called The Lines, they asked me to drive them on tour. And it was a pretty good, pretty fun tour. I drove them on that tour, and after I did that tour, I decided I wanted, that's what I wanted, that's what I wanted to do, was drive bands. So I bought another vehicle and did it out and drove some bands and then I bought another vehicle and another vehicle and another I think this this is the fifth vehicle. It took four before I realised which, which one was best, so. And here I am on tour all the time, it's great. In some aspects, sometimes I go a little bit further than just that because I uh, will do lighting or sound or tour manage or guitar tech or anything like that. Maybe organise the tour, book hotels, etc, etc. Right, there's a few bottles of water on stage. They've been open unopened. I've got to be quite honest, Orange just left them and didn't drink them. Do you want me to get more? I've it's only about one. three I'm or good. four. Me okay. I'm good. If you need, you need more, that is the simple. I've never owned a car because the first vehicle I bought was a van and then ever since then I just wanted vans. Because the thing is with, with like when I was buying a van and doing it out is number one it's fun to d kit them out, you know, if you've got the money and the time. It's fun to build them and design them and stuff like that. And also when you're out, you know, you can give people lifts. If you go to a festival, you can you don't have to camp. You know, you got somewhere to stay that's nice and warm, and, you know, and cozy, and uh, and obviously you can make money off it as well. If it's done out properly like this, you can uh, you can uh, you know you can make as long as you insure it properly. You know, you, you don't want to cut corners, um, but you can make money from it, and that's what I'm doing, and it's working very well.
This is it. This is this is me and this. Two parts to my business. Come on in. Up front is obviously very messy because it's my area. We've got uh, the, the the radio and uh, Bluetooth phone and GPS and everything all built in there. And then under here we've got a uh, DVD player surround sound for up front so I can listen to music nice and loud. Six, six beds in this area. Three high here. Three high there. All the beds are very comfortable. They all they all have memory foam mattresses, uh, sleeping bags for if it gets cold, you can zip yourself up. And sometimes if you ever do vein in bunk beds, it can fall out and it's very annoying. Uh, bounce back pillows so they're nice and comfortable. Lights in bunks and curtains as well to block out the light. Uh, making your way even further back, we have the lounge area. We've got another bunk here, which is six foot long, two foot wide with the same stuff and down there as well and then uh, down here you've got heating on one side on this side you've got four vents and temperature and control there for air conditioning in the summer is vital because uh, at the end of the day if a band is in it and they're freezing cold or boiling hot it's just horrible it's not even worth being in here this side you literally just have a DVD player down there and a fridge and TV and Xbox just kind of hidden under the uh, the band's crap that they've left in here at the minute. So entertainment wise it's covered, everybody has their own bed, everyone has their own seat, temperature is covered, so, and that's pretty much everything that you need, really, to accommodate a band. <laughs> I guess in some ways I have a lot of crazy stories. The, the only one that's springing to mind at the minute is about a year ago I was at a festival parked up alongside Young Guns and they thought it would be really funny to get salad and put it all around the trailer. So all the behind the registration plate, all the nuts and crannies, basically the trailer just looked like a bush basically that was on wheels. So I then retaliated with what I thought wouldn't do that much damage and I basically got a, a bottle of mayonnaise unopened and um, I put it under the wheel of the trailer which was full of equipment. As young guns were walking back to their splitter I pulled off and I'm not kidding this mayonnaise bottle exploded. I mean the side of their van was covered in mayonnaise. It was just and I have I literally drove off across this field and I was laughing so so hard i actually stopped the vehicle and got out and was just pointing and laughing and and then all the guys started running after me and I had to jump in the van and and drive off but yeah that was that's definitely one cra crazy story for you and there's a lot of crazy moments like that Sometimes I kind of watch the band and think I'd, I'd love to be on. I'd love to be on stage playing in front of all those people, and then you know I'd love to get the attention of being in a band, you know. But then sometimes you see the band getting hassle off people talking to them, and then you start appreciating that you're not in a band. So it's 50-50. So of course, there's a downside to the job because not all. You can't really. It's difficult to find a job that's completely perfect. Say, say like tonight, if I drive at midnight to Glasgow, which is four or five hours, I'm yawning. I'm just about to yawn thinking about it. <sighs> that's the problem. Kind of going into zombie mode. It's not your fault. I've only, I've only had two hours sleep. So. So what you have to do is you have to get your body clock set that you sleep from 
say, 6 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon every day. But then your body knows that about 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, that's bedtime. Even if I'm not driving until 4 in the morning, it doesn't matter because my body still knows that bedtime is not until 5 or 6 in the morning. So unfortunately tonight I'll have to push myself through it. But then I'll be so tired when I get to Glasgow that then I'll sleep till 3 o'clock. So yeah, that's the downside to the job, the sleeping. You basically just waste the day sleeping. I think some. I think sometimes the bad times are caused by other people. You know, sometimes you'll have people come to shows and, you know, and they'll mess you about and they'll want to meet the band and they'll try and use you to meet the band and stuff like that. And you've just kind of got to have a an approach of ignoring them. Sometimes you get a little bit sick of people trying to get stuff signed or meet the band and stuff like that. You know, everyone's doing a job, they don't want to be messing about trying to get autographs from the band because if they do that, the band's going to look at them and think they're stupid. So, like, you don't really keep in touch with that many friends at home and all that kind of stuff. But then you make so many more friends. I mean, if all these bands that you drive, and generally you can call them friends because, you know, you, you I get on so well with, you know, so many bands that it is great to see them and it's, it's sad when I have to drop them off. Obviously, because I'm never home, I don't rent anywhere. That'd be stupid. But I spent all the money I earn at the minute on this vehicle and, and I guess the other one because I just want it to be in top, top condition. But what I do plan to do in the near future is get them kitted out to such a quality that, you know, they're very heavy duty and nothing should really get broken inside. You know, or play up kind of thing. I spend all my money on the vehicles, but also paying it off so that if the whole vehicle, if all the vehicles are paid off, then um, I can actually make some money and enjoy myself. <laughs> That was great. Yeah, that's it. We're, we're done.